With pressure on Southern Ontario intensive care units at an all-time high, COVID-positive patients are being transferred north. To make room for them, elective surgeries will be postponed at our hospital beginning next Monday, and certain patients could be transferred from hospital to long-term care without consent. A lot of moving pieces for hospital administration and staff to manage. The freeing up by delaying elective surgeries is to for us to be able to maintain that capacity, but it's not reactive to us drowning. You know, we're, we're doing very well. So that means that, um, you know, nothing that's a cancer or a possible cancer is, is going to get cancelled. Um, same thing, anything that, you know, we've asked our surgeons to go through their lists and, and any surgery where we feel that, um, you know, the patient's condition will deteriorate significantly in the coming weeks if they don't have surgery or if they feel that their patient might be um, presenting, say, to the emergency department within the next month or so um, with worsening of their condition. Those are the ones that we're um, you know, planning on continuing. The limitations aren't limited to the physical space. A big component of this is actual manpower. So nurses having to um, basically be you know, redeployed to different units to help, also freeing up our anesthetists who are, are running the ventilators in the ICU. So it's not just an, uh, you know, a numbers game, it's really about um, human resources. Critical care preparedness lead Dr. Jennifer Myhill is honest when assessing the feelings amongst her and her colleagues. There is some fear. We are, you know, partially vaccinated as healthcare workers in this hospital, having had one of two doses. Uh, that's following the ministry mandate, and we will receive our second doses in June. Uh, you know, we are bringing COVID positive patients into our community, which, uh, you know, is fearful on many levels. So there is that part of it. On the other hand, what I notice here is a real uh, intention and willingness and a want to help. Ontario is in a terrible situation right now with their ICU beds and being over capacity in the South. And I think people here, you know, we're healthcare workers, we're nurses, we're doctors, we're managers, the health administrators, everybody wants to help here. Uh, we wanna make the situation better. We wanna take care of patients. We wanna do our part. So I also sense a lot of um, enthusiasm too, to take this on because we're ready and we're willing to help everybody uh, and we want to do it too. Castle Home on Olive Street is prepared for patient transfers. Eight individuals will be transferred momentarily. Castle Home has the capacity to accept up to 24 patients from area facilities. You know, a real effort to staff that unit because they're, you can imagine you're in isolation. It's not just you're in a separate part of the building. Um, you are donning and doffing personal protective equipment each at each care intervention. So every time you go see that person, you know, you've obviously have to, you know, regown and put a you know, new mask on. So you don't, if they happen to have anything, um, COVID or otherwise, you, you don't want to contaminate uh, or infect anyone else.